Hello everybody, it's the real Mr. Squid here, underground, <laughs> coming at you with another episode of Self-Taught Building. Hope y'all are having a good day, I'm having a good one. We're almost out of here, and hello! <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I do love the little, like, swimming, you know, underground thing. Uh, I'll just show you guys how to do that in case you don't know how to do it. You can walk up to, like, any little area, you know. Uh, you put a trap door down, you open it, and uh, then you close it, and you're swimming. And you make you can make yourself tunnels and do bases like this. It's a little, you know. But that's not what we're messing with today. We're messing with something else. We are going to be talking redstone. Okay? I know we've done, you know, a couple redstone builds back to back, but this is not gonna be necessarily uh this episode's not gonna be necessarily about the uh mechanism itself, but understanding how and why the mechanism works. Okay? Now what is the mechanism? It is a redstone filter, you know, an item filter, you know? We're going to be making one of those using hoppers and such. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'll often see this design online. This is, uh, to my knowledge, Impulse SV's design. I'll put his link in the description. Super cool guy, YouTuber, streamer, all that jazz. Definitely check him out. Okay. Now, ob you know, obviously he made the design, so he explained it well. But other people, they don't uh, really, I feel like, explain the, the mechanisms behind it. So I am going to take that upon myself. I'm going to show you guys what's what. The best I can. The best I can. So, here is our uh, little, I guess, design. It's tileable too, so you can put one next to each other, and it won't uh, won't fail, won't inter uh, interfere with each other. So, let's start with our filter hopper. Okay. There's our filter hopper. There is our input hopper from wherever you know our uh, items that we're trying to filter are coming from. And there is, and here right here is our let through hopper. Let me plop a chest here. Okay. Very cool. So let's get rid of the input hopper for now, because we don't need to be messing with that. And let's put down a redstone comparator here. Now, what is this redstone comparator going to be doing? Uh, very simply, it's going to read if there are and how many there are items in this hopper. Okay. And I can actually show that off here really quickly. Let me plop some redstone down here because we're going to need some of that. If I put one piece of redstone in, oh, it went straight down. Goodness me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a silly guy. So let's actually make this hopper like this. Okay, so if we put one piece of redstone in, or, oh, it went down. Okay, as you can see, I'm clearly messing up. <laughs> um, let's get the design set up and then I'll show you. So you gotta take, you gotta read the hopper, see if there's items in it, take that signal, bring it down to this block. This block will become powered, which will then power this redstone repeater, right? Which will then power this block, which will then unpower this torch. That's when it's happening. Um, right now this, this torch is powered, which is powering this block, which is locking this hopper. So now I can show you, if I put an item in, it's stuck up here, and it's giving a little bit of signal, a signal of a signal strength of one, it appears. And how you can tell, uh, besides just looking at the redstone to see if it's lit up, uh, redstone that's currently activated will give off particles, as you can see these particles here, right there and there. And you're gonna stop giving off particles now. <laughs> oh, there, right there. Yep. And that's how you know it is lit. And to you know, I'm gonna show that more items give a stronger stronger signal. Let me just. Open my inventory here. There we go. So you can see the redstone up top there. Let me put in a full stack of items. That lit it all the way up, probably all the way to three. Okay, now as you see, some of my items are pouring out. Now, why is this happening? And the reason why this is happening is because there are so many items in this top hopper that's being read, okay, that the signal is strong enough to reach down here. And as soon as it gets strong enough to reach down here, this, you know, that whole thing happens where this block gets powered, powering this redstone repeater, unlocking or unpowering this torch, which unpowers this top block, which then unlocks this hopper, allowing the items to flow through. And I'll show you that once more real quickly here. So we're putting over 40, 45 items, I believe it is in. I believe that's how many it is to uh, get this to go. So as you can see, this is powered. This is powered. This is unpowered. We're going to watch that as soon as the, and there it was, there it went. 
So this should be 45 as it is. Now I just want to show that just just once more so you fully understand it. The last time I swear. Um, I'm going to put the eight items in, and the torch is going to become unlit, which is going to allow the items to flow through. And then you're going to see once it gets down to 45, it's going to this signal is not going to be strong enough, and this is going to lock up again. Let's do that. Let's put eight items in. It's unlocked. They're flowing through. They're flowing through, and it's locked again. And we got eight more items down here. So that's how that works. Now, if you have, you know, this many items in, if you have just items here, there's room for other items to flow through, okay? And that is not what you want. So, to set your filter on your, you know, your filter hopper, your filter device, you want to put some garbage items in that are never, ever going to actually... <clears throat> Really, I choose ones that never go through the system. Now, you can do that a couple of ways. You can just choose items that are very obscure and never, you know, are never going to touch the system, or you can actually name items. So we're going to say that this is a filter for a, hmm, an iron farm, okay? So it's only going to be giving us two items. It's going to be giving us iron ingots, and it's going to be giving us poppies, flowers from the iron golems, okay? Now, this is just a hypothetical, so stay with me, stay with me. So how do we set our filter so only iron can go through this? Okay, so we're going to need some iron, and then let's grab our garbage items. For that, I'm going to say something that's never going to come out of an iron farm would probably be uh, netherrack. There's no way, unless, it's, yeah, netherrack is never going to come out. So let's grab four pieces of netherrack, okay, and put it in there. So you see they're not flowing because it's still locked. And... What this does is it allows the system to be slightly powered, okay, just a little bit, and then we can put in our iron here. So this will be our iron. We're going to need a little bit more. So you do need a good amount of the item to set the filter. That is a little disclaimer, I should say. I believe you need 41. So let's grab 42 and see if one flows through. Yep, one flowed through, probably went down to here. You're, um, you also will probably always have one in this second hopper, but that's okay, that's just the flow through hopper. So let's say, now our iron farm is running, okay? It's running from all the way uh, over here. Iron farm's over here, and we have, we have uh, some poppies going in, and we have some iron going in. Let's grab a look. 16 of this, and, okay, so now you can see our poppies are going through, okay, they should get to here and stop, okay, they will not be able to go through, because this is only allowing iron to go through, because you have the other slots uh, blocked, and you have it set to iron, so now all your iron should be going here, and what you could do for this is what I would do is I would actually change this to a sideways hopper, not, not not sideways this way, but sideways going this way. Okay. And then you could have just normal hoppers going down into another chest. Oh, not like that. There we go. Okay. And now... We don't even... Like, for an example of in this iron farm, you don't even need another tile here. Okay, because the reason why you don't need another tile is because there's only two items. So if it can't go in the first one, it's going to go to the second one. So let's try that again. Show that off. Grab some iron. We have like 16 each. Okay, so the flowers, right, they can't go into here. So they just keep on going. They pass it up along the route here. But as soon as the iron starts coming along, you can see it is it can go down. So it's working there, and our iron went in. And that is how the um that is how the filters work. That's how that's that's how they mechanically work. I'll just I'm gonna go through this one last time and then we're gonna wrap up today's episode. So you have items coming from somewhere, anywhere you want, you can even put them in manually, okay? They then, if they can, go down into the
the filter hopper, which has 41 and then some garbage items. As soon as that hits 42, then the, your comparator signal is strong enough to unlock the hopper directly below it. Okay? So it's become strong enough to get, you know, to power this redstone, power this uh, block and this repeater, unpowering this torch, which unpowers this block, which unlocks this hopper, lots of uns here, unlocks this hopper, allowing the, thr you know, the throughput of the item that you have filtered up here. And that is a very simple way to do it. And really quickly, what we should be able to do, not that we need to at all, not that we need to absolutely at all, but we, just to show that it's scalable, we'll put another design directly next to it, and it should not matter, we'll, uh, bam, 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 and I, you see, you see how they're, you know, they're kind of, they're powering each other because the redstone connect, the redstone is connected. That's fine. That doesn't matter. It still should work. So we are going to set this to, um, grab some other nether block here. Doesn't matter. And we're going to set this to poppies. Oh. Oh, I didn't put the, I didn't put this down here. I was like, why, why did those items disappear? There we go. Now it's locked. grab this. So four of those. We're going to put in our poppies. And as you can see, only one of them is activating. And it should go down to 41. And boom. And let's just put in some iron and poppies again. And we should be able to see them both activate at the same time. Okay. So right now the redstone's activated, or I'm sorry, the, the iron is currently filtering in, and then now, as you can see, the poppies are filtering in. Super, super scalable design, you know? Like this is obviously all these hoppers, this is very iron heavy, this is just an example, you don't need any of this. And it's very bare bones, and it's very bare bones, it's really just this. This is the design. Okay, and we will knock this down to just the one side, I guess. And it still works. So, I hope that you guys learned something today. I hope I explained everything thoroughly enough. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, that's going to be it for today's episode. So, thank you guys for stopping by. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.